Kalifornija, predvsem pa je po navadi on v Kaliforniji. Namreč gospod Robert Henriksen prihaja iz Kalifornije. Z nama pa je tudi Duško Petrovič, ta je pa iz Slovenije. It's nice to have you here in our studio. It's the biggest, how would we say this, Duško, producer of spirulina in the world? The largest in the world, yes. Wow, torej največji vsekakor, ne dvomno. Duško Petrovič, vi ste pa direktor firme Duena. Ja. In sicer ste bili založnik za knjigo. Preverili smo, to se pravi, včeraj in danes je bila predstavitev čist sveža, ravno je iz tiska prišla, knjige o spirulini, Earth Food Spirulina, ki smo jo preverili, Spirulina, hrana za zemljane. To je Robertova knjiga o spirulini, pokriva še nekaj drugih poglavi, ki se tičejo proizvodnje spiruline in nekaj malega ekoloških vprašanj, ki grajo zdraven. No, zdaj bi pa jaz vprašala. So, Mr. Henriksen, what is spirulina? How old is it and why don't we know it? Spirulina is a microscopic plant, a blue-green algae. It actually is shaped like a perfect spiral coil. And it's 3.5 billion years old, mm -hmm. the earliest green life form on the planet. And why don't we know it? It's not used or sold all over the world? We're just getting to know it. In mm -hmm. the last 15 years, it's now being sold in over 40 countries. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it's been used by millions of people. Who used to know spirulina very well? Aztecs? Yes, mm -hmm. in history. Just before the Spanish came to Mexico, mm -hmm. the Aztecs harvested from lakes around Mexico. Torej, Azteki so jo dobro poznali. Sedaj si pa pogledamo reportažni prispevek z predstavitve knjige. Pripravila sta ga naš novinar Vladimir Jerman, torej tudi naš urednik, in snemalec Marko Rebol. To je bilo vsi noči v hotelu Union, predstavitev knjige. Zapodne smo imeli tiskovo konferenco. Zvečer pa je bilo predavanje namenjeno zdravnikom in prehranskim delavcem. Tole, kar tukaj vidite, je spirulina v namazih, v popolnoma rastlinskih namazih. V glavnem je za osnovo bil tofu, to je soj in sir, ki je kot nekako prevzame vlogo skute. Moram reči, da so bili namazi izjemno okusni, vsi so bili navdušeni. Hec je v tem, da je spirulina potrebno zelo malo, je tako močno obarvana, vsebuje 15% pigmenta fikocijanina in ta v vsakem primeru obarva, v karkoli damo spirulino zeleno. Ampak okus se pa lahko zakrije, glede na to, da je tega tako malo noter. Seveda, naredili smo tudi napitek, ki ga imamo, nekaj ga je ostali in ga imamo tudi tukaj. In sicer... Sicer zelo majčke imamo. Ja, tam nekje do milimetr zadeva zraste, mislim, ta cela spiralca. To je širina ene celice, ampak potem se naberajo skupaj v spiralo. To so še enkrat ti namazi. Napitek ne povem, da je zelene barve jasno zaradi tega pigmenta je pa še pomarančen sok pa banana, tako da banana popolnoma prekrije okus spiruline za tiste, ki bi se bali, da jim ta okus ne bo všeč. Mr. Henriksen, how did you come across spirulina? Where did you find it? Was it love on first sight? It was such a wonderful idea, because for the first time we could begin to eat food at the bottom of the food pyramid because 75% of all life on this planet is algae. And not only is it a healthy food, but you can grow 200 times as much protein per hectare by growing spirulina instead of beef cattle on the same area. Mm -hmm. So it has tremendous implications on how we grow food on this planet for the future. Where does spirulina grow? Where can we find it? Does it grow in other parts of the world as well, apart from California? Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> Actually, it grows naturally in high alkaline lakes in Africa and Mexico in the really warm areas of the world. And although we were one of the first farms, 
Now there are spirulina farms mm -hmm. in uh, Mexico, in Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam, India, and all across China. What happens with spirulina in November? Or what's going on between November and April? Well, in the <coughs> desert, that's the cold time of year, so spirulina stops growing. So we harvest almost all of it and clean out all those ponds. That's the time of year when we expand the farm and do all the maintenance on all the equipment. So we keep three ponds mm -hmm. completely full with dense spirulina, and it stays that way all winter. And then in the spring, when it warms up in March, we harvest from those ponds and inoculate the fresh water in, in the new ponds. And we spread out the culture to all 30 ponds. So can you tell us again, in which forms can we consume spirulina? For pure spirulina, the tablets are so convenient because you can take them any time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> well packed. Yeah. Yeah. Well packed. To the tech tablet clock goes on and move each one, and how many a day can we take? Well, because it's a food, uh -huh. there's no dosage or no limit, but uh -huh. a typical amount is maybe six tablets, mm -hmm. and you can take them all at once any time, especially between meals, because it's food. Uh, what's in here? Is this it is, juice? Yeah, very simple. It's it orange it juice uh -huh. with a banana to give it a little texture. Now, can you tell us why is spirulina so good for the body? It's called <laughs> a green superfood. Because <laughs> it's, it's nutrient dense more than any other food in the world. Because it's 60% protein, the highest protein food in the world, it adds a lot of extra nourishment to this juice. It's the richest food in beta carotene, a powerful anti cancer nutrient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's also um, an unusual form of gamma linolenic acid, or GLA which is only found in mother's milk and some oil seeds. Mm -hmm. And it helps the prostaglandin and the whole hormone system of the body. Much of the magic of spirulina is in this incredible color. 15% of spirulina is a blue color called phycocyanin, only we found in blue-green algae. And it's rich in green chlorophyll and orange carotenoids. And all three of these pigments have tremendous medicinal value. What are its therapeutic benefits? Has it been proved that it's really good for the body? Have, it, have any research has been made? Yes, there has. First of all, we have almost 20 years of personal experience by millions of people now mm -hmm. in 40 countries around the world. And oh. they're all reporting some benefits. <laughs> the scientists from all over the world, in China, Russia, Europe, US, Japan, are finding out what is it in spirulina that gives the health benefits. Most people, when they use spirulina, say they have more energy. That's why they love it. Mm -hmm. They use spirulina to supplement the food that they do eat, but because it's so potent, they start eating less of a lot of foods they don't need. So people can actually lose weight they don't want and have the energy to feel much better. Sportsmen use it to get ready for performances. Bodybuilders use it as a great source of vegetable protein. And for endurance sports, uh, it's widely used by athletes and mm -hmm. helps athletes recover from muscle fatigue. It's really great for pregnant and nursing mothers. In fact, in places like India and Vietnam, it's prescribed by doctors for pregnant and nursing women. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly safe. There's no side effects. It's great nutrition. And uh, a lot of kids love it. You'll see them walking around with green, smeared <laughs> faces. And from okay, Mr. Henriksen. Well, thank you. It was nice to have you here in nice this studio. Nice to be studio. on your show, Simona. Uh, Duško, tudi tebi hvala za prevajanje, za sodelovanje. Uh, ponovitev daje. Si lahko pogledate danes ob 15.30, če slučajno niste videli cele oddaje. Jutri pa bo oddaja za diabetike, jutri ob 8.00. Lepo se imejte še naprej.